But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Pretty and ratchet. Eh? 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 Excuse me. First of all, when did you have a girlfriend? Obviously, I, I know you had a girlfriend because I figured it out. But when have you ever admitted to me you have a girlfriend? So now you want to come tell me you had a girlfriend with your chest? And say, can I back you? Are you fucking high? I said, I'm going to do what I motherfucking want. And he was like, oh, please, Lani, come on. Just because it didn't work out for us. I don't want it to fucking work out with you. You look like bread. Can I back it? Are you fucking dumb? Can I back it? Are you fucking high? Can I back what? Can I back what? Fucking loser. Fucking put your hands on me, fucking loser. Can I back what? I should tell your bitch that your nigga ain't shit. Why are you even with him? He looks like bread. He looks like a watermelon. He looks like a toe. His dick game is shit. Hi guys, it's me, Lani motherfucking good. Um, welcome back to my channel for all you returning subscribers. And for the people that have never seen my face before, then what's up, where you been? You've been missing out. So make sure you, you know, you join the goody team. Cause I call all my supporters goodies. Oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, when, you, when you do videos in a car, you get distracted by like people walking past in cars, sorry. But yeah, like I call all my supporters goodies. So what's happening? Welcome to the family and that. Make sure you like, subscribe and all that good shit. So I just want to start off by apologizing. Shit, sorry, I didn't even realize music was playing. I want to start off by apologizing because basically I have been absent. I've been, you know, MIA. And a lot of people will be like, oh yeah, Lani, you, you, you haven't been about. And the reason I haven't been about, I'm not going to lie to you guys, is because like the last story time I did took a lot out of me. It was very, very emotional. It was very, very, very hard for me to talk about it. And I thought like, because the thing is, it might not be the best thing to do, but I don't really like to deal with sadness. So what I do is I just pretend it never fucking happened. So I kind of like just bury it. And then sometimes when I can't help it, I'm like, I'm, it's silent, which is most of the time at night. Like when you go to bed and like, you can't drown out any external noise, like talking about it and reliving stuff. I don't really do that. So it was almost like being in therapy and I was just talking out loud. And that's why I got really emotional. That boy, like really triggers me i'm not gonna lie to you like he really gets under my skin and i just feel like i need a break from talking about him because i can't be coming on here crying i'm not embarrassed that i cry about him he broke my heart and i don't know until you've experienced true a fucking heartbreak you're you you won't be able to relate like it's like death like it's it's like the worst pain like especially when you feel like someone was like you know made for you like they're your fucking soulmate and all this bullshit that wasn't true obviously because i you know i found out that he just never fucking loved me but when someone breaks your heart into a million pieces like it's just it's just the worst pain so i'm i don't want to um make my channel right now just sad i'm gonna if i ever decide to talk about him again i just want to be in a better place um because yeah he he whoo he fucking finished me like i thought that was my husband like i said but anyway sis like i want to do with like a more fun positive story time and when i say positive it's not positive it's actually a big l like the story time i'm going to tell you a lot about is a big 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 l big l but the reason i want to talk about it is because it's funny and the thing is like obviously i'm going to tell you a story about all the time like one nigga took me for idiot do you understand but a lot of you be, might be like lani like you're always telling story times about people taking you for idiot because that's what you lot like do you understand that's what you don't like you don't want to hear stories about me like winning and like like come on like it's not interesting like if i just came on here and said oh you know what guys i won bear awards for my artwork when i was younger you lot don't give a shit about that you look like ratchet shit that's why you want to watch me because i talk about ratchet real shit you don't want to hear the real real and also to be honest with you fuck being perfect i hate perfect people i'm not perfect i would never ever say my life's been perfect i made mad mistakes so it's just like talk about all the mistakes I made, innit? And also, I feel like it could help like younger girls, or even, it doesn't, you don't have to be younger than me to be honest. It can help anybody, older, whatever, not make the same stupid mistakes I made because you don't, we might as well all learn from each other's mistakes, you understand? So, let me tell you about the time this, 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 this prick took me, this prick took me for idiot. Right. So anyway, like, I must have been, this is like after uni times, yeah? I must have been talking to this, no, 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 no. Okay, let me start. 
I went through a phase in my life. I went through a phase in my life where. Oh, cool. I went through a phase in my life where. I was convinced I was gonna be a whack. Do you understand? I was gonna be a footballer's wife and no one could tell me any motherfucking different. Do you understand? I, and I, when I say that, I'm not actually joking. I went for a phase where I was convinced I'm gonna marry a footballer. Do you understand? I'm gonna be a wag. Do you understand? And I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't far fetched because for some reason at that point in my life, I kept getting, you know, Footballers in my DMs, innit? I kept getting blue tick footballers in my DMs. It was like a good two years. I just kept getting bears of them. So I was thinking, cool, like, let me beg a footballer. Cool. So let me tell you about this. So, cool. So I'm going through that phase. And then straight after the footballer phase, when I say foot, I don't mean I dated bears. I dated, like, two footballers. But after after I realised that, you know, fo footballers ain't shit and athletes ain't shit, I decided, let me go for a businessman. Imagine, I actually thought a businessman would be better than a footballer. Nah, I didn't, at this point, I didn't realise that niggas were trash. All niggas were trash. If a nigger is a nigger, if a nigger's got a dick, if a nigger is a nigger, he's trash. It doesn't matter if he's a footballer. It doesn't matter if he's a doctor. Let me tell you, I even dated one doctor trash let me tell you doesn't matter if they're a doctor doesn't matter if they're a priest they're all trash i swear so anyway i didn't know this at this time so i thought cool let me find myself a businessman cool so this means now because remember you guys i get a lot of the, the, the way i used to meet people was in my dms because obviously like i was an instagram babe innit? i was an instagram baddie so th that's where i got all my niggas so anyway now one nigga must have come in my dms and he was not my type he was not cute at all if you ask anyone what lani's type is Cool. If you ask anyone what like Lani's type is, maybe actually now nah, I've talked about what my type was before. Cool. If you ask anybody what my type was, um, back in the day, they would probably say like cute, pretty boys. Like, not like he doesn't have to be like gorgeous, gorgeous, but I liked like a cute boy, like a guy that was cute in the face. That was my type. Yeah. So I like cute boys. Cool. And I only liked, I was a colorist these times, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like, let's be honest, like, everyone goes through phases, I'm not proud of it, but I'm an honest person. We have to be transparent with each other. So I was a colorist these times, so I only like people who are brown skinned to light. I didn't like darkies. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I just wanna, this is like so separate to the story time, yeah. Even if you like dark boys, they're all trash, yeah. Light skinned, middle skinned, dark skinned trash all these niggas are trash do you understand so really it doesn't really matter if you're colorist with oh, these boys please i beg so anyway at this time I, I okay cool like i like brownies and lighties but i thought you know what these footballers that i've dated cool brother brownies they ain't giving me nothing so anyway i get like i said i'm looking for uh I'm looking for a for, uh, freaking businessman. So anyway, in my DMs now on um, Instagram, one one businessman enters my DMs. I and mean, the way I could tell he was a businessman is obviously you go on his page, it says entrepreneur, and then you can see through the pictures. Like, obviously, my man's doing things. You can see, like, business meetings. You, like, to be honest, anyone can cap, but, you, you know, I, I, this is how I, I, I gauge he was a, a businessman. You can see the suits. You can see the meetings. You can see the la 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 Like, you can see things in it. Like, this man goes, um, takes trips abroad for business meetings. Cool. So, you're like a businessman. And then I think, like, cool, he was a young, he was young as well. It's not like he's a... Because I don't like old men. I'm just, I'm, I'm not to be horrible. Except Idris Elba. Like, obviously, like, Idris can get it. I know that's disrespectful because he's got a wife. But I mean, like, outside of his his wife, he can get it. But in DMs. And let me be honest, guys. He wasn't my type. He wasn't in my um, colorist standards. He wasn't a lighty. He wasn't a browning. He was a dark-skinned nigga. So I thought, you know what? I haven't had any luck with men. Maybe I should change my type. So I thought, cool. Uh, dark-skinned... A, a, a dark skin boy might um, be different. Also, another thing, guys, is I really, 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 really date predominantly Nigerian men. I think it's the stupidest thing I've ever motherfucking done in my motherfucking life. I wish I didn't like motherfucking Nigerian men. I'm not gonna lie to you because I'm. I'm, I'm let, me, let me just be very honest about my experience with Nigerian men. They're bastards. I'm sorry. I have to keep it 100 percent true. But cool. That's what I like. And I have. Don't get me wrong. I've dated one. One. Like one Caribbean thing, cool. But I thought, cool. Now this nigga in my DMs, he's not Nigerian, he's not Caribbean, he's Ghanaian. 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 I never dated a Ghanaian man. 
it's not even it's, it's not even my flavor but i thought you know what sis you gotta change your type and another thing as well i'm not trying to be rude but this guy let's give him a name i'm gonna call this guy watermelon we're gonna call him watermelon because he had his head was the size of a watermelon do you understand so we're gonna call him water, watermelon but yeah let me talk about this guy this guy he was not cute he was you you wouldn't you wouldn't you definitely probably wouldn't give him your number i'm just i'm just being honest you lot wouldn't give him your number if he, he came chat to you but at the end of the day sometimes in life you can't be too picky if you want a guy to treat you right sometimes you have to lower your standards obviously i wasn't gonna lower my standards with a bag i wanted the bag I wanted the bag, innit? I wanted a certain lifestyle. But looks wise, I thought, come, like, well, why does he have to be good looking for? Let's go for this. Let's go for this nigga, get me. He's, he's got a good job. He he presents himself well. Another thing I forgot to add is this guy was, like, he was a freshie in this. When I say he's a freshie, like, he's a young freshie, get me. It's different from an uncle freshie. So, Water, watermelons, um, the way he presented himself was so lovely. He just seemed so put together. I like, came from a good family home. Of, he, the thing is, I asked him, like, do you live in Ghana? And he was just like, no, nah, like, I'm always around. Like, I'm always, like, traveling for business. Like, do you get it? Like, and he was just like, you know, I'm going to settle down where I settled down. So, in theory, I guess, like, he was open to settling down in the UK. So, I thought, let me give this guy a go. It's different to my norm. It might work out. Calm. So, this, my man eventually flies to the UK. And then he says, do you want to go for dinner? And when we go for dinner, we go to, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't remember the restaurant. It was Nobu or, or, or Novikov. It's one of them. They sound the same. They look the same. I'm going to, guys, let me be honest with you. Yeah? I don't even know the differences in establishments they it's the same to me don't don't know central london restaurants are the same fucking shit so basically he took me to one of them i know it was with the end so it had to be novakov or nobu who fucking knows in it so anyway now and i must have taken the train i never take the train i always i always drive but i thought let me drink so i took the train i met him it was a lovely 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 evening and then he said to me come back to my parents house and I said, oh my God, your parents have a house here. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents own a house here. And it was in central London. Like this, like literally the postcode was like fucking, what's a Kensington postcode? Like SW on the blah, blah, blah. I don't fucking know in it. Like it was a Kensington postcode, bro. Like you get me. It wasn't an end postcode. It was a central London motherfucking postcode. And I was thinking, this is what I'm talking about, motherfucker. This is what I'm actually talking about. Are you fucking dumb? Yes. Central London motherfucking postcode. I'm with a fucking baller. This is what I need. Yeah, he's tapped in the face. Yeah, his head is like a watermelon. But who gives a fuck? I, I believe that I'm decent looking enough that we'll have decent kids. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't have to be a buff thing. As long as his dick is... Um, th th those are my two standards. Like, at that point, it was just like... All I, no, okay, I wouldn't say it's my two standards now. But at that point, I was thinking like bread and dick that's all i need like if you've got bread good personality and your dick is a decent size i, I don't want no small dick like i'm not gonna lie to you so cool so yeah like whatever so anyway we, we go to a restaurant he's very nice he opens the door for me we eat cool we go back to his parents house um we kissed and stuff he tried the thing obviously why wouldn't he? he's a guy but i didn't let him get me so first date i don't do that the only time i've done that is um I've done that like twice in my life, had sex on the first date. I wouldn't advise it. And I actually never thought I'd be the type of girl to do it. But like, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you can get lost in a, you can get lost in a moment. So it is what it is. I mean, if there's anybody that's done that and is beating themselves up about it, don't, don't beat yourself up about it. It's life in it. Everyone makes mistakes. So anyway, we move. So cool. I go home. Then he goes, he, he, he's only in London for like a couple of, what I want to say, like a week. So I don't really get to see him again. So anyway, um, I've, I've, I've left out a crucial part of this story. At the bottom of his Instagram, and when I say the bottom, I mean the bottom, 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 bottom. So it almost looks like a year and a half two years ago so it's significantly lower it depends on how many pictures you take as a human being but it's significantly low on the instagram there's a girl in the lot of the pictures sorry i have to work. there's a girl in a lot of the pictures guys please learn from me so i ask him who's the girl and he says to me my ex and i said okay so why is she on your page and he said to me imagine and i fell for this shit because i was a dickhead he said to me um his ex is 
finding it very difficult to let go me and mentally she's not all the way there type of thing so if he completely like deletes her pictures and stuff like that he thinks like she'll have a nervous breakdown so it's not a beef thing they're not together no more but you know what i'm saying they had good time she he's just gonna keep on the page and i believed it because i was a dickhead who believes that shit though who be tell me who believes that shit me because i was a moron because i was tapped never really believe a guy that says that shit so that's what he said to me anyway cool he goes back to ghana and then he starts to say to me like obviously like my man like he said to say to me like next the next place i'm going to is the u.s i think it was south carolina and he was just like to me you should come and i was like okay cool you know why not cool so he buys me a ticket now imagine i see the ticket and the ticket is a 16 hour flight 16 hour flight 16 hour motherfucking flight Make it make sense. 16 hour flight, that sounds long AF. So anyway, that's what he wanted, Jay. He wanted us, he wanted to travel for 16 hours. Cool, oh my God, the wind, the wind, the wind. Allow it. So I had a bit of a princess moment and a bit of a bitch fit. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not traveling for 16 hours, innit? It's not happening, I'm not, tra I'm not traveling for 16 hours. So I wasted his, um, oh, sorry, my boob. I wasted the money he spent on the ticket and he was really mad at me. So then eventually, like a couple weeks later, he was just like to me, I really want to see you, but I'm not buying you another ticket. Like you wasted my ticket. And I was just like, because it, it had a stopover. Like who wants to wait somewhere for, and also guys, I was only going to go like for four days. So it was like, it's actually a waste of time time my nigga like for me to be sitting around waiting on a stopover for like eight hours like who does that so i was just like that is why i i i i, I didn't like appreciate the ticket you bought me being a princess yeah but to be fair i still wouldn't have gotten that plane today i'm not gonna travel for a hundred motherfucking hours this is just not gonna happen so anyway cool like i ended up i could afford a ticket so i bought a ticket can you imagine i bought a ticket to go see a watermelon nigga that i didn't even motherfucking like i didn't even like him and I bought a ticket to go see him, cool. The ticket cost me about five bills. So now I get on a flight to North Carolina. He picks me up from the airport with some American car. I don't even remember what car it was, but it was American. Um, Let me tell you red flag number two. When we was in the car, he was playing a song by Future that was talking about having bare bitches. And he, whilst the, um, Future was spitting his disrespectful lines, as mis his misogynistic lines, he was like snapping me, dickhead. Like, but I don't know, he was trying to, I think he was sending it to his boy, so it's basically showing like, this is my, one of my hoes? Who knows? Imagine an ugly nigga treating me like this. Cool, I, let, me, let me be honest guys, I think because I got on a flight and because I paid for my flight to go see him, he got very, 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 very gassed. Very, very, very gassed. I think he thought that he was the man. I think he thought that... I think he thought, like... Lani's come to see me. She's got on a flight to see me. So, basically, like, this thing is patterned. It's on deck. Like, she wants me. My nigga, like, it's, it's America. Like, I wanted to come to America. But I think he thought that. Because he started acting hella, hella motherfucking disrespectful. Hella, 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 hella disrespectful in general. So, cool. I told you about the snap, yeah? Now, when we reach the yard, listen to the disrespect. Listen to the disrespect. When we got to the yard, now, he he wanted to go through the garage you know it's america so it's not like here it's not like street parking he had a garage and then through the garage you could get into the house so cool we've done that now we got into the house into this the fucking chick of this bitch listen to the fucking chick of this bitch we got into the fucking yard yeah we got, when you walk in through the garage it, it you go in through the kitchen so you're not going in through like the living room area or the front room area so we're in the kitchen now i've got my obviously i've got my luggage I've got my, yeah, I've got my luggage. I've got my little, um, um, little, like, hand luggage, cool. And my little suitcase, cool. Tell me why all the curtains are closed. All the curtains are closed. Especially the ones in the front of the house. They were shut. Like, 
he shut all the curtains so you can't see shit so i'm like thinking mm, this is interesting but i'm not really putting two and two together because i'm a bit of a dickhead and i'm, I'm a bit slow cool so then i say to him we need a bit of light in here let's open the windows and he's like nah do you know what like that's not even his accent yeah it's a Ghanaian accent i can't do it Ghanaian accent but let me just do it for bands obviously you know i'm it's even british i can't I, we cannot open the curtain because I, I don't want no one to know my business i don't want no one to know my business i don't want no one to know that I, I, obviously what i'm doing in here so just leave the curtain closed do you know what i'm saying just leave the curtain closed is that a good accent who knows i don't have to do a Ghanaian accent just leave the curtain closed uh, i don't want anyone to know my business do you know what i'm saying cool that's what this nigga said to me so i'm not gonna lie to you it was a red flag but i was thinking I, I i don't know i always i always see the best in people so i just didn't i was too tapped i was too tapped to proper clock what was motherfucking going on so i left it cool whatever so then we went upstairs to the bedroom and stuff and i think at, at some point we had very very dead sex I'm, I'm not even saying that just to be like a bitch the sex was dead watermelon like your sex was dead he had an average dick so you're not only are you fucking tapped not only are you fucking ugly like your dick is it's just not it's just not big enough for me and then another thing in addition to that is that's what this nigga was talking about what was he saying that really pissed me off um he, he was doing this banter like what would you do if you got pregnant you'd keep my baby in it like for the lifestyle what would you do if i got pregnant you would keep my baby for the lifestyle like, i'm sorry are you cute like i'm really really sorry are you actually cute like in my head i'm thinking i get footballers nigga i get footballers nigga you're just like fuck off anyway cool so he said, yeah, what, 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 yeah, what, you will keep my baby for the lap, like, this, he's got so many accents at this point, he's got a fucking African accent, British accent, what, you'll keep my baby in it, dickhead, so cool, whatever, we have dead sex, the next day, he takes me to a restaurant, in the fucking restaurant, in the motherfucking restaurant, he's telling me I'm too loud, yeah, nigga, I'm loud, I'm Lani, I'm loud. Like, you speaking to me on the motherfucking phone. Don't you know I'm fucking loud? How can a nigga take me out, Lani, Lani motherfucking good, and then say, you're too loud? I wasn't even being loud. And let me tell you what, he, what else he did that was disrespectful in the restaurant. He was trying to act like I'd never been to no classy restaurant. And the only reason I could go to a noble one, a Nova Cove, is because I'm with my man. Like, I can't fucking afford that shit on my fucking, my, my fucking own. And that's why I don't like dating niggas with money no more too tough, because they look at you like, I've leveled you up, bitch. You leveled who up, bitch. That's why I'm, I'm trying to win on my own because I hate that disrespect. Like, bitch, you wouldn't be here if you wasn't dating me. Like, man, booty to Novikov. You can't afford. You've never seen place like this. You never seen place like. You know when niggas have that energy? Like, who are you talking to? Who are you disrespecting? You look like a watermelon. You look like a big toe, my nigga. You look like a big motherfucking toe, my nigga. You look like a watermelon. Who are you talking to? I'm out of your league, okay? And he kept basically saying that, you know, like, he kept talking to me like, oh, like, obviously, like, village girls. Like, I'm a village girl? What, because you're talking to me to a posh motherfucking establishment? Who are you talking to like that? Who are you talking to like that? Waste, man. Anyway, con let's continue. Because the shagging, the shagging is more. The shagging is motherfucking more. This nigga shagged me. So, oh my God, I can't even. So, this it's so cool, like, cool, he's done that now. We've gone... <sighs> Let me tell you the first thing that I've... The, okay, the biggest alarm bell before the violation, yeah? The biggest alarm bell for me, yeah? Tell me why. He says to me... I My brethren's having a, a, a little gathering. My brethren's having a little ting. I said, okay, cool. What time should we be ready? And he's saying to me, do you know what? Um, They don't know you, so I'm not going to take you. Pardon? Excuse me? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You're not gonna take me. I got on a motherfucking plane. I got on a fucking, I got on a fu I got on a fu I got on a fucking plane. Do you understand what I'm saying? I got on a fucking plane to come here to see you and you're telling me you're, one, you're gonna go dinner without me because they don't know me. Uh, it's, it's, it's easy. Meet Lani. Everybody, meet Lani. It's easy. It's not difficult. Do you understand? Everyone, meet 
Lani, she's come to see me from the UK. She's a girl I'm chatting to. It's easy. Why wouldn't you want a bad bee like me on your arm? Are you crazy? You look like a fucking watermelon. So anyway. Fucking waste, man. So he he left me in the house he just wouldn't take me he just literally said it's really like i don't want to like introduce you yet la 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 but i got on a fucking plane my nigga you get me it's not it's not it's not down you're not barry from down the road my nigga you're not like fucking t driller from down the road my nigga do you get it do you get it i got on a fucking plane for you so cool he leaves me in the yard i'm pissed off he says to me and i remember this very clearly he said to me i'll be two hours i'm just gonna show my face eat, eat a little food and be back babe so don't be too mad at me so you, two hours yeah hmm. three hours goes by nothing four hours goes by nothing five hours goes by uh, nothing eh, nothing eh, nothing i'm not hearing shit from this guy so i'm thinking where is this guy he's actually i've actually come i've actually come to america to see this guy and he's left me stranded in his motherfucking house is he tapped so i'm pissed off at this point let me tell you what he did yeah this, this is the, the the real big alarm bell for me he sent me a picture of a cut he had on his arm i can't remember where but it was somewhere on his arm he sent me a picture of a cut he had on his arm and he said oh my god babes it's mad oh my god it's mad there was a fight la 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 la, la. so i had to sort it this is by this is by iMessage or, or whatsapp i can't remember I, oh man I had to sort it la 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 so that's why obviously that's why obviously like obviously man's not back i'm even doing a british accent this guy's a full-on freshie like obviously that is why that is why I'm, I mean, I'm not, I haven't come home yet because you're. Yeah. I'm a fucking. <laughs> I haven't come home because he. Obviously, there's a fight, yeah, like, man has to like pattern it. Oh, fuck it. Fuck the African accent. So, <laughs> he's, he's giving me all these excuses why he hasn't come back here, yeah? mainly because there's been this fight. And then he says to, to, to me, in the midst of getting in the fight, he got a cut on his arm, innit? He got shanked, he got bladed, he got skanked on his arm. This is what this nigga is saying to me. So, he sends me a picture. Imagine this guy sends me a picture of this cut on his fucking arm. me of the cut on his arm I saw that cut on your arm the first night not the first night the first day he came to pick me up from the airport baby boy when you was driving I saw that cut on your arm I just didn't say nothing I saw it I, I, I you know you know I was observing you I was observing my surroundings that was it I didn't have to speak on it so you sent me a picture of an old fucking motherfucking skull my nigga and telling me you just got that now my nigga do you think I'm dumb do you think I was born yesterday and that's when I knew something was very wrong because if you're gonna lie about something small you could just say I got carried away but if you're gonna really 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 make up a lie because of of, of, of some cut on your arm what else are you lying about so at this point I think something's wrong in it now actually let me now i wanted to just tell you that because i've skipped a, i've skipped a part shit i've skipped a part i want you to remember that bit yeah because that is the pivotal point where i i i i was over it now let's rewind to the day before because i was there for four days so the day before it was night time and he wanted to give me dead watermelon sex very very dead watermelon sex so in the midst of all of this, yeah, I am, um, you know, when you're, when you're having sex, you know, you're not fucking silent, are you? Get me? And everyone, I'm Lani, like, what do you think I'm like in the bedroom? Do you really think, like, look at me now, like, do you really think I'm like, yeah, 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 come on, bro, like, I'm going to be a bit like, yeah, 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 even if it's dead watermelon, like, that's my personality, so I wasn't being horrifically loud, but I wasn't being, this, no one's in the yard, like, I wasn't being, like, dead quiet, but tell me why he told me to keep it down. I said, why? But like I was, I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't screaming down the place because there's nothing to scream down the place because this is a watermelon guy. So um, he was just like, you just, I just want you to be really quiet. He wanted me to be quiet, like almost like his parents are in the next room, quiet. And I was like, why? No one's in this house. And he goes, I just don't want my neighbors knowing my business. I'm thinking, what? You're a grown man. Why can't you have a, a go in your house? 
let me tell you so he keeps he's just like oh babe please just keep it down so i'm pissed off but we still keep going and i'm like uh, 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 uh. and he's like keep quiet and i'm like no and i'm right i'm thinking no fuck off uh, uh. So he's like quiet quiet this this waste man gets so angry he just lost it he just he just, he just lost it uh, like a, a light bulb switched on him he lost it and he just grabbed my neck he grabbed my neck and started strangling me not sexily not like this not choking you like oh, daddy no abusively strangling me like he wanted to do me something like he's trying to actually f he's, he's fucking assaulting me like he's doing me something in it like he's hurting me strangling me like shut the fuck up i think he even said that he, i think he even said that yeah yeah, yeah. He, he definitely said that like shut the fuck up you know like, like that like yeah like venom like shut the fuck up i should shut the fuck up so he put his hands on me Imagine I've gotten their first fucking trip. Because, guys, usually with domestic violence, I've heard that with domestic violence, like, usually, like, it takes a while for someone to show it to you. This is the second motherfucking time I've seen you in life, even though we've been talking for months, and you're putting your hands on me. You're putting your hands on me? When I got on a plane for you, you put your motherfucking hands on me? When I bought the second ticket myself, you put your hands on me? So he just lost it. So I'm pissed off. However, this is where I went wrong. I'm pissed off, but he talks me down and he apologizes. So then I think I've flown all the way here. I don't want to, um, I was just kind of like, I've, I've made a lot of effort to come here. So let me look past it. I was a dickhead. Don't, don't do what I did. So I thought, let me look past it. The reason I, I say don't do what I did yet is because sometimes even though you might think something's not that deep, the fact that someone's doing that to you, like so soon in, like you just met them, like, really okay i didn't just meet him like i said i've been talking to him at this point maybe for six months but like bro like you're still been to be on your best behavior you you've this is the second time you're seeing me in person we were basically in a long distance talking stage and you're strangling me cool so now remember the next day he's gone out and he, he says that scar things on his arm so at this point guys i've had enough yeah i have had enough do you understand you have lied to me you have strangled me you have abandoned me you have abandoned me when i got on a motherfucking plane to come see you you have fucking strangled me during sex because i was moaning really you are a fucking 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 twat cunt prick dickhead suck my motherfucking dick do you understand what i don't give a fuck i don't give a heck that's why i'm doing this fucking story time do you think i have any loiters to this fucking waste man i dare you i dare you because this is another thing every time i do a fucking story time someone wants to come and then they start to complain i dare you to come find me and talk shit to me my nigga i will expose your fucking picture how dare you put your fucking hands on me are you crazy i dare you dm me i'll fucking tweet your fucking picture this nigga strangled me that's what i'll do or i'll do a story time and show his fucking face so you better just take the l i ain't said your fucking name i called you a watermelon and move bro, bro you understand move go over there fucking dickhead so cool let me continue i i don't all notice to this watermelon in any way shape or motherfucking form so anyway Cool, he strangles me cool now remember i said that he's taking hours now he's lied about the scar at this point yeah it's like ding 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 this guy's taking for you for idiot like he's literally left you no he doesn't want anyone to clock you in the yard the he doesn't want the neighbors to clock you in the yard and i sat there for, for some reason I, I now had to sit there and give my and, and, and analyze what i wanted to do because i thought no no no, no there's something wrong so i basically sat down and I was thinking about it. I was thinking, hmm, 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 hmm. What's really going on here? I really sat down. And I was thinking, what's really going on here? And I thought to myself, he doesn't want anyone to see you. He doesn't want anyone to know you that there's a the, there's, that you are in the house. Guess what, sis? He doesn't want anyone to know there's a female in the house. That's what it really is. This ha yard isn't his. So I started thinking, it's because it's his parents' yard, and maybe his they're cool with the neighbors. But he's a big man. I'm sure his dad is cool with him having with, with him having a ting. Like what the fuck? So I thought to myself, nah, sis, it's nothing to do with that. You see that girl 
down 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 his page that is his girlfriend he's still with her and she's probably cool with the neighbors maybe she's even got a friend across the street maybe she's even got a friend across the street he doesn't want you to go near the windows he's hiding you this is hot right now where you lot are is hot it's very bait do you understand he's hiding something and then him not taking around his friends because he's got a girl my nigga maybe a couple of his friends his boys won't say nothing but there must be someone there who's affiliated or very close to his girlfriend because why is he not taking you back around his friend then he's strangling you like this is just an l on top of l's i thought fuck the money because he was always going to pay me back for the flight i thought fuck the money i need to have some sort of dignity do you remember this guy was telling me like telling me i was a village girl trying to act like oh you've never been you don't have peas you can't go novikov and all this stuff on your own so i thought cool let me do one better because you think i'm a broke bitch let me book myself into a nice crown plaza and leave your ass yeah, I came on this holiday, but let me put myself into a nice crown plaza and leave your motherfucking ass. So what I do, because I'm actually leaving the next day anyway, like in the evening though, or the night or whatever. But what I do is I, I, I book myself one, one night into the crown plaza or whatever. And I, I like, I get cute. I, um, and I pat my bag. I remember he's still out and he's like, I'm, I'm on my way back. So I thought, shit, let me download Uber. So I download Uber. I download Uber, I get in the Uber, I go to the Crown Plaza. So, I'm in my room. Mm -hmm. I'm in my room in the Crown Plaza or whatever. And I, you know, I see my phone and it's bro, bro, bro. It's like, you know, popping off, popping off. And I, that was one of the sweetest moments of life. I'm not going to lie to you. Sweetest moments of life. Imagine a bitch has blown out to see you, left it in your yard, and then you come back. <laughs> she gone. <laughs> Woo. also another thing i actually forgot to say that the other thing that he did that was disrespectful to me that i didn't like you know because i'm a village girl and because i don't have any bread and because i'm a broke bitch because he kept trying to um spin that narrative like i think he because he was so fucking ugly and he looked like a watermelon he 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 tried to put me down with the whole like i'm a rich nigga like i come from money i come from wealth you don't you're a village girl all you have is a face so i remember when he met me i had a pink burberry bag and this is the first designer bag i ever 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 bought and i think this bag cost me 1.4k and the reason i even had the money it's because I remember when I went to go do my boobies, I had to, I saved for some, but I also got a loan and I had enough money extra. Um, I had like enough money extra, not 1.4 um, from the loan, but uh, because I had the loan and money I had saved, I just had money extra and I thought, oh my God, let me treat myself. I've always wanted to design a handbag. I'm really into handbags, by the way, guys, more than shoes. I'm really into bags. I love a fucking bad B bag. Like, are you dumb? I love a fucking bad B bag. So I was thinking, and I want to get a, a statement bag. So I got myself this um, pink Burberry bag. It was, it's, it, I'll put a picture of it. It's really, really cute, but I don't use it anymore. So I got myself the bag, cool. So I went on the holiday with my bag and when I was there, he was saying to me, um, what uncle got you this bag? And I take that very offensively. Do you know this, like, th I'm gonna do another video about this, like, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tap into this for too long. But the reason I find the uncle thing offensive is because, bro, you're not, it's because people don't know you, but you're not there when I'm working, like, hard as fuck i work nine to, to to five but sometimes i do nine to seven nine to nine that's normal for me like you know what i mean i've been doing that for years like i work so hard so fucking hard you have you have no clue i have to do my nine to five do youtube do um try and be an influencer i do a lot like i work really hard sometimes I'm literally getting five hours sleep and I'm doing it night after night after night. So when someone's telling you that the things you have bought yourself, the things you have bought yourself are from a man, it can never be me. They're not from a man. Don't get me wrong, if I if I landed a baller, great. But the simple fact is I haven't. Don't take my hard work away from me. How dare you? So that pissed me off. I took that very offensive as well. Cunt. So then eventually, like, he wanted to talk to me, so... Like this is the next day when my flight's gonna leave. So I make it, I made him come to the Crown Plaza and I basically just wanted to ride to the airport. We went to his, we didn't have sex. Went to his, we spoke. Then he um, took me to the airport, cool. 
I was doing an act because in my head I was thinking when I get back to London I'm never speaking to you again you are you are ended for me you, it is over it, it do not ever ever speak to me you fucking watermelon do you get the only young nigger with bread go fuck yourself so I got on the plane go back to London didn't speak to him this nigga was shocked because he really thought he had it like that he really thought he had it on deck he he was shocked because he has bread fuck off yeah you have bread but have you forgot you look like a watermelon like you look like a toe are you fucking dumb Oh my god, you look like bread. Like, seriously, you look like bread. Like, so, anyway, I go back to London. Um, he also doesn't speak to me because he doesn't like the fact that I disappeared on him. So he does this waiting game where he waits for me to holler him. I'm never gonna holler you, nigga. Ever. So you're dreaming. So he waits for me to holler him. I don't holler him. Obviously. Evidently. Two weeks later, he's calling me on private. Because I blocked him, by the way. When I go back to London, blocks him on everything. Blocks him on all the Instagrams. Blocks him on all the numbers. So he's calling me, calling me, calling me. Bruh, bruh, on private number airing it airing it airing it tell me why a year later this nigga rings me i end up picking up i didn't know it was him he ends up saying to me by the way like uh, i hope you're cool Lani. oh by the way he apologized bears like um during the year bears trying to get in contact with me bears i want to buy you flowers i want to make it up to you like go fuck yourself but anyway yeah later i'll speak to him this guy has audacity to say to me basically Lani, like my girlfriend has seen your messages in my phone she's become a bit suspicious i think she's gonna contact you can you just back it and act like you don't know me eh? 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 excuse me first of all when did you have a girlfriend obviously i i know you had a girlfriend because i figured it out but when have you ever admitted to me you have a girlfriend so now you want to come tell me you had a girlfriend with your chest and say can i back you are you fucking high i said i'm gonna do what i want but motherfucking want and he was like, oh, please, Lani, come on, just because it didn't work out for us. I don't want it to fucking work out with you. You look like bread. Can I back it? Are you fucking dumb? Can I back it? Are you fucking high? Can I back what? Can I back what? Fucking loser. Fucking put your hands on me, fucking loser. Can I back what? I should tell your bitch that your nigga ain't shit. Why are you even with him? He looks like bread. He looks like a watermelon. He looks like a toe. His dick game is shit. So that was the end of that. That was the end. I just deaded that guy. I completely regret it. But guess what, guys? As much as most guys I've dated, let me be honest, have been sweethearts and have treated me really, really well, it just hasn't worked out. So in terms of guys that... Obviously, can go left, you know, niggas are niggas. But in terms of guys that I really can't stand, I would say two. But I have a top one. And the one that I can't stand the most is the guy that leaked my nudes. But I'm never going to speak on that because I don't really want to... I don't want to war someone who's capable of that. Does that make sense, guys? I don't want to war someone who's capable of fucking showing people my fucking tits and my vagina. So, I'm dead at that. Um, but... But also, if he did that, I would literally put him on blast and do a story time on him. I don't give a heck. I don't give a heck. I am, I'm fearless at this point. I don't give a fuck. I will come on YouTubes. I will come on YouTubes. I will come on YouTubes. I will come on YouTubes and sing like a fucking canary. Do you understand? I will come on YouTubes. So, that nigga, sometimes it's just like someone takes you for idiot on a date and stuff like that. But then a lot of guys are treating me good too. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the guy, you know, I flew to America, whatever, to see the Ghanaian guy, like, fuck that nigga, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him. He can never talk to me. If he sees me, he should cross the road. He should never even say hello to me. He should never even look at my fucking direction. He is tapped. I don't like him. He's a cunt. And if he wants to do this, if he wants to send for me for doing this story time, do it. I will do another story time and I'll show your face. So just take the L and move on with your life because I haven't said your name, Watermelon. I haven't said your, your name, Mr. Bread. Fuck off. Go and die somewhere. I don't like you piss off like honestly if you died i wouldn't come to your funeral i wouldn't say r.i.p i don't like you okay that's it about it guys <laughs> that's about it so i hope you enjoyed that story time it was really fucking long really 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 fucking long but guys like i said i'm back make sure you subscribe if you like that subscribe to the channel make sure you like subscribe tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend i love you guys i love all the goodies i love all the goodies and i just want you guys to know that this is our year everybody that fucks with Lani, this is our year i promise you when i say that i promise you this is our year i promise you this is our year
<laughs> I love you guys. I love you guys. From Auntie Lani. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm popping like a Kardashian. Huh, pretty and ratchet.